Hey, what's going on, you guys? What's up? My name is Barbarian, and welcome back to another story time with Barbie, the series that you guys love and I love making. I love talking to you guys about these stories. They're just, they're usually really interesting, and I feel like I, I have a good idea of what you guys enjoy. So if you want to hear any more of these stories, make sure you slap that like button. But first, before we talk about cars that drive themselves, let's talk about the server we're going to be playing on today, because we're playing on play temptingmc.com. The server's pretty awesome, guys. It's got a really nice faction server, but it's also a really huge hub. So if you guys are interested in playing alongside with me, then feel free to check out the IP down below. I'll see you guys on there. Now let's get right into the story for today. And that I want to set before we get into the story, I want to set the scene for you. I want to give you guys a little taste of just how bizarre this one is. So imagine that you're on a highway or some other equally challenging roadway where, you know, driving along or if you can't drive, you're sitting in the passenger seat and you happen to glance over at the car driving next to you. And you look over and you look in the window and there's nobody in it. It's completely empty. There's no one driving. There's no one in the passenger seat. There's no one in the back seat. It's just, just driving along, you know, just doing its thing. It's just, what would you say to that? I, I personally think that my initial reaction would be, oh my God, there's a haunted car right next to me. But once I realized how silly that sounded, I, I started to do, you know, what would I do? I guess I would probably panic and assume that something was going wrong. I, I don't know. Something just tells me that there has to be a person behind the wheel, obviously. The, the only people who can drive cars are people. There's no way a car could drive itself, but that's actually what's happening now. And it's kind of neat because to me, this is what it's like to quote unquote live in the future because when I was first, you know, driving and, and being and, you know, getting into cars and such when I was a kid, there was no, no talk of having a car that could drive itself. That was just a pipe dream that crazy people would think like, oh yeah, wouldn't it be cool if this car drove itself? Yeah, well, wouldn't it be cool if my, you know, if my shower automatically dragged me out of bed and got me in the shower? I mean, yeah, it'd be cool, but that could never happen. But this is actually happening right now, and it's a company called Delphi, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but they're a company out of Las Vegas, which basically makes cars that do exactly that. They drive themselves, and I, initially, I was thinking to myself, well, you know, I'm sure they can drive themselves because let's face it, I've seen on Mythbusters, I've seen on shows where they make big cars into remote control cars for stunt vehicles and things like that. And obviously that's great, but I've seen firsthand, from, you know, watching those episodes that they're not the most reliable things in the world. They're probably not the best car you want to be driving. And I, I honestly just would not suggest, you know, getting in a car that is being driven by a stunt driver. In fact, when they have those remote control cars, I'm pretty sure they're not allowed to put anyone in them just because it's so, it's so probable that something's gonna go wrong. You don't wanna have a car being driven with a precious cargo that doesn't actually have any sort of fail safe. But this is, is where things are changing and where things are kind of getting exciting. This car is not only allowed, or not only able to drive the, you know, the streets, it actually is driving right now in Las Vegas. It's not able to drive the streets of Las Vegas perfectly. It's, it's logged over 300,000 miles. That's more miles than many of us will drive in our entire life. I mean, 300,000, that's circling the earth, I think like 10 or 12 times, something ridiculous like that. So the point is, there's really no no need to, to worry about that. 300,000, actually wait, 24, I don't know. It's a lot of times anyway. So that's, that's what it's doing. And it's actually starting to do a little bit more than that. It's actually starting on a driverless cross country trip. So this car, which can essentially drive on its own, no, no people needed, will not only be driving the streets of Las Vegas where it's allowed to drive in the streets of California, but it's also going to go down through Texas, all the way through Louisiana, swing past Florida, and go up all the way to the East Coast on I-90 to New York City. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm extremely curious to see how this turns out because if you can get a car that can drive itself across the country, imagine how awesome that would be, guys. Imagine how sick that, like, let's say, you know, okay, uh, you know, I, I don't really want to drive myself to to Boston. So why don't I just have my car come and pick me up? Or, you know, I'll just, I'll just come on down. Come on car, just drive over to Seattle and I'll get in and you can drive me on back to Boston. I mean, that would be the coolest thing that I could think of. And 
I, I don't know. I just feel like this would be super awesome. I want this to happen. I'm really excited for this to see how this happens. And it's on its trip right now. When you're watching this video, if you're not watching this like super late in the past, and if you are, hi, future person. But if it's actually driving right now. It should take about 10 days for it to get cross country, which isn't, isn't the quickest, but I'm assuming they don't want it to drive 24 hours a day because there are going to be humans in the car to to make sure that this goes smoothly for the first ever test drive. It would be very bad if the car didn't go very smoothly and it crashed on its first drive ever. So they're trying to make sure that they have a fail safe in place. But this, I, I just want to think about this. If this car does in fact drive cross country in a safer and more efficient way than a human, What's to stop us from actually turning these cars into a reality? Think about it. These cars right now, according to the spokesperson of this company, are already light years and bounds more safe than a human driver. The lasers and the computer system that is being used has a much quicker reaction time, milliseconds compared to what humans have, which is quite frankly, kind of slow. I mean, you guys have all been there when someone throws something at your face and you you try and swat it away, but you always, you always do it too late because you're not quick enough, but, or at least maybe that's just me. Hmm. Either way, either way, it's gonna be it's gonna be really exciting to see this because once these cars become mainstream, things are gonna change. Things are gonna change a lot. For instance, let's say, you know, I really wanna move across the country like I did. Well, I could, you know, buy all these new things or I could just load up my car, drive itself across the country, I hop in a plane and meet it there whenever I want. So I don't actually have to do that but I'll always have a car with me. So that would be something that I would personally like to see happen. I'd love to have a car that drove itself and allowed me to just, you know, call it wherever I wanted. Oh yeah, I walked down to the store, but I don't want to walk back. Well, Mr. Car, just didn't click a button on my phone or my app or my keys. I don't know. And maybe the car could come pick me up. I feel like that's easy. I mean, these cars actually already do something similar like that. They actually can valet themselves. So if you want to, let's say, act like a cool hotshot, get out of your car at the front of the restaurant, walk inside, the car will park itself, find its own parking spot, and then you just click a button and it'll actually come back and pick you up, which is just unbelievable. It's mind blowing to me because normally you'd have to have someone sit with the car the whole time and, and valet is annoying. Sometimes they abuse your car. Sometimes they don't treat it nicely. So it's like, why wouldn't I want to have the car drive itself? That just seems so much cooler and so much awesomer. I don't know. This story time has gotten a little bit off topic, but the point is I'm really excited to see where this happens. I'll probably be tweeting about this all week. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, you'll be able to get your, your daily fix of driverless cars. So anyway, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then a rating is always appreciated. Make sure you leave me a comment down below what you guys think. Would you get in this type of car? Would you get in a car that has no driver? I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. And if you enjoyed the service, the, the footage that you're seeing on screen, then be sure to check out the server play.temptingmc.com. It's a great server. We'll hopefully see each other on there. And uh, as always, guys, my name's Barbarian. Peace out.